welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, just our standard disclaimer, it is possible to lose money in trading, and all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. In addition to that, guys, we have a great lineup of free webinars this week, as well as every week, so I encourage you to check out www.pristine.com. But as you can see, we've got three webinars on tap this week alone. So again, any and all webinars that interest you, I highly encourage you to register for and attend. These are all done live. You can ask questions in that moment, get answers back uh, that day in that webinar so again highly interactive highly uh, informational experience all right so with that we'll take a look at where things are as we head into this new week following up on the shortened thanksgiving holiday for those of you who uh who were celebrating thanksgiving i hope you all had a wonderful holiday and are ready to get back to it so Euro US dollar in the upper left daily remains in a downtrend. You can see that the volatility has contracted a bit and you could certainly say that's in part due to the holiday shortened week that, that we had. Uh, but in any case, downtrend remains intact and at this point we really don't see any reason why this should not continue to move lower. As we look at the weekly chart, uh, we do have this support area that we're coming into, these lows that were made earlier in the beginning of the year that we're probably going to come back on down to test. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. I mean, that's going to really be an inflection point, a, a really critical level that traders will be watching. So it'll be something very interesting to watch. A lot of people are expecting that the euro US dollar continues to fall. And from my point of view, we have no reason to think it wouldn't. I mean, the trend is down. And as we know, the trend is your friend. So Everything here is pointing to the expectation for lower price movement, and that's what I'll be looking to position myself for. Moving on over to the right, Aussie dollar, US dollar. This one, as we said last week, has been a bit volatile, a little confused in a sense. You know, it did push up above some resistance here, but now into the next level of resistance and spent a good part of last week pulling back in, but now it's on this little bit of support trying to hold. So is this a head and shoulders type of formation where we then head lower, or is this going to hold and send us even higher? You know, time will tell ultimately the weekly suggests we remain weak overall because it's in a downtrend but we'll see I really would not be looking to do a whole heck of a lot as far as swing trading goes on this pair but certainly looking to see what it may set up uh, intraday there there may be opportunity so uh, this one is not really set up in a way for multi-day movement in, in a fluid direction. Moving on over to New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar. This one has been staying weak, going a bit sideways here. So I still think that this could weaken and roll over, but at this point it's got to break down. Uh, on the flip side, if it breaks out, we could easily see a rally back up into this area here just, just above the... 0.6717 area so getting up there into the 6720 and and even higher um, but that's if we break out here again i do expect uh, that we would move lower you look at the weekly chart and you can see that you had this big nasty bar to the downside we're just going sideways within that and so again the implication is that we move lower but at the same time we have to be objective and if this breaks over the highs, then we do have at least some